My name is Connie Erickson, and this is my son, Chad Erickson. He was born premature. I was 23 weeks when I had him. He weighed one pound, 10 ounces, 11 and a half inches long. Um, I was told he wasn't gonna survive. And because of the premature birth, he is totally blind. He has light perception of like the sun and his right eye is a prosthetic eye. And I have fought for him and done whatever I needed to, to have him have a normal life. My name is Chad Erickson. I'm 23 years old. The first time I in was introduced to the Jaze Pino was a number of years ago at various Vermont adaptive summer events. And I got a chance to ride one and I fell in love with it. One of the biggest things I like about it is that as a, as a blind rider, I'm in front of the driver. So if there's anything important coming up on our ride, like a bump in the road, or we need to turn somewhere or stop, or like a couple of days ago, for example, there were railroad tracks that we were crossing. I wouldn't, it would have been more difficult for me to do that for, for me to know about them on a traditional bike because I'm sitting behind the drivers. Chad also has a small hearing loss. So for me to be able to communicate with him, it was like trying to turn around and yell at him of what we got coming up, whether we're gonna turn or what we're gonna do. And it just, it was really hard. It's such a joy to ride with him now that I can just talk to him without having to try to turn turn around on the bike and talk behind me and be able to keep the bike's stability. This, this provides everything. So this past year, we put our heads together and our money together, and we were able to obtain the Jaze Pino. Anya and Rad Innovations has been absolutely wonderful with us. Took him for a ride on the um, bike when we went up to test drive. My Jaze Pino has uh, allowed me to be out in an open environment, not being in a car, but traveling at relatively high speed. Being on a bicycle like this is is, is a very thrilling experience, and uh, I enjoy using the electrical assist because it allows us to go faster than we could otherwise go. It's essentially a traditional bicycle with a frontwards extension, and in that frontwards extension is a second set of pedals and a seat and a handlebars. It's a recumbent seat. So the way I'm sitting right now, I'm sitting, it's almost like a chair, but with netting. And there's a backrest, a very substantial backrest at that. Um, so I'm sitting nice and comfortably while my mom is sitting on the back of the bike on a traditional bike seat. My handlebars are further apart than normal so that it gives the clearance around the back of Chad and his recumbent seat. So the handles, my steering wheel is out further than a normal bike would be. It's built perfect the way it is. I'm up higher so that people coming down the road are gonna see us and Chad is in a comfortable position so he's able to ride longer. So the Hespino does amazing giving them you know, the ability to build up their stamina, but also the ability to relax when they need it. Get them outside, get them so that they can enjoy life and be a part of the community. And it gives a person with any type of disability, you know, a chance to ride, a chance to be outside like most kids are. It's just an amazing bike. You know, you have somebody with a visual impairment, CP, any of that, just invest and buy it because the enjoyment that the person with the disability gets out of it is amazing. You can't ask for anything more. I've definitely been enjoying it. It's, it's reinvigorated my interest in cycling for sure. Um, and I hope to get years and even decades out of it.